Hey, Tinia Saganata. I need to talk about the fashion show tomorrow. I mean, I appreciate you letting me be a model and all, but I'm just a dwarf tapeworm. I thought the minimum strobile height to be a model was 800 perglottids. Well, I only have 200 and that's on a good day. At least you have an arm score legs, Hymenolympsis Nana. I might have 2,000 proglottids in my strobile, but look, I've got a bald skolex. How embarrassing is this? No hooks. I don't even have a rostulum. But Saganata, you have the most uterine branches of every tapeworm, and twice the amount of testes of your cousin Salium. Thank you, Nana. You are very sweet. But I'm 25 years old. Lifespan of a fashion tapeworm model is only five. Shh. Here comes my bragging, boasting cousin, so Liam. Hey, Saganata, what's happening? You ready for the fashion show tomorrow? I heard the dwarf tapeworm's actually gonna try to model with her 200 proglottids. She should be so embarrassed. She doesn't even have an intermediate host like us. She's an anus to mouth her. <laughs> Hey, teeny Salim, I heard everything you said, idiot. Don't pick on me because you're jealous of your cousin Saganata. I mean, hello, Saganata can have up to 2,000 perglottids, you can only have up to 1,000. Saganata can have up to 30 uterine branches, and you might have 7 to 12. And as far as having an armed Skolex, well, Saganata might not have one, but I do. So you know what, Salim, you have nothing that everyone else doesn't have. Get over yourself. My name is Diphonia Bothram Leighton. I am the best fashion model in the tapeworm world. Exactly why I didn't think I could be a model because of attitudes like that. She is modeling a pink mini skirt with a shoe. She is 50 millimeters in length with 200 perglottids. Her rostellum is sporting armed hooks. She enjoys living in the ileal part of the intestine and she is transferred via hand to mouth. Next we have Tinea Solium. She is up to 8 meters in length and can have up to 1,000 proglottids. She has less uterine branches than the rest, only 7 to 12 lateral branches in her proglottids. Tinea Solium prefers to develop inside of a pig and is transferred to a human via uncooked meat. However, she can, when ingested by an egg, become sister sarcotic in a human. Next we have Tinea saganata. She is the most common of the large tapeworms. Her uterine branches have up to 30 uterine branches. She can get up to 10 meters in length and have up to 2,000 proglottids in her strobila and can have up to 80,000 eggs in her proglottids. Next we have Diphylobothrum Leighton. His proglottids are the widest of all of the proglottids. He can retain all of his proglottids and accumulate up to 3,000 in his strobila. He is the largest tapeworm in humans. Diphylo prefers to develop in a copepod, get transferred to a fish, and then to a human via uncooked fish. Well, that's all we have for our tapeworm fashion show today.